Hey folks, this is Eric coming from Kansas again, and I uh, got a comment from a viewer that uh, <clears throat> they were curious how these generator transfer switches, uh, which I talked about in a video, uh, I don't know, a couple of months ago maybe, uh, how to get started with, uh, you know, your backup power system, solar system, whatever you want to do with these generator transfer switches. Um, they asked how these were wired in with your breaker box um, underneath the panel here. So what I'm going to do is take I'm going to take the breaker panel off um, and show you what's inside. Uh, first, I'll read you the question here. It comes from C L. I'm not I don't know how to pronounce the uh, the viewer's name uh, or call sign, but uh, C L P O E L K E R. So they say thanks for the upload. Perhaps next video you uh, can focus on how you have it hooked up. I understand the hots and the grounds, but what about the neutral? Are you backfeeding the neutral from your inverter? So um, I'm going to show you what's inside this bigger panel, and I'll also show you uh, uh, what the instruction manual looks like for these uh, generator transfer switches. Uh, how, the, how, it's, how the wiring shown in there too. So stand by. I'll take the panel off, and we'll get started. All right. So here's the instruction manual. This is a Gen Tran brand of uh, these generator transfer switches, at least this one is. This one's a Connecticut Electric brand. It's, uh, it's an older brand, or an older vintage, I should say. Uh, so Gen Tran instruction manual for, this is model 30116V. So it's the one, it's the second column here is what I've got. So it's got four switches at 15 amps, 120 volts, and it's got uh, a spot for a, a two pole, which is, uh, you know, 240 volt switch, just uh, two of these switches put together, uh, which you can do, but I don't have a setup that way, for uh, 20 amps each, or you can just do it 120 volt, 20 amps. Rated right at 3,750 watts, 30 amps, approximately at 120 volts. Uh, it uh, uses the L5-30 uh, plug con uh, uh, configuration if you plug it into a generator. Um, 10 gauge wire, 3 wires, a power cord, wire gauge size required. So anyway, that's the model I have here. So opening this up to the um, page where, let's see, yeah, too far. This is the most important page here. This is a planning page, and I'm sure you can find this online, but anyway, there's a little diagram here, and you can see um, it shows you where to put all the wires at. Uh, pretty easy to follow. So they've, the white wire is the, the wire that the individual and the, the viewer was asking about, the neutral wire. So it, uh, it comes from the generator transfer switch, and just hooks into the neutral bar inside the breaker box and here's your ground your green wire and that hooks into the ground bar and then all the other wires are reds and blues and they're and they, they come numbered also they have numbers on them uh, which helps so that you know uh, or they are numbered or, or I guess on this one they were lettered so they came with an A B C D E or F on the blue or green or blue or red wire so you know you knew which circuit <clears throat> you were hooking in to which breaker uh, on the breaker box so that made it it's pretty easy so they, they make it pretty easy for you um, whether you're a experienced DIYer or, or contractor or you're just getting started with this it's pretty easy uh, to, to follow if you just take your time and uh, follow the instructions obviously so um, <clears throat> just want to show you that real quick. Now, obviously, uh, since I have two of these wired into my breaker box, it got a little messy in here, unfortunately, so I don't have it nice and tidied up like a lot of contractors have them. Um, and I didn't want to cut the wires, so I, um, uh, there's a lot more wire in here than needs to be, really. Uh, in case I take this thing apart and we move someday and I want to take these things with us. 
That's the only reason I left them coiled up. And I tried to make it uh, as tight as possible, keep them away from the breakers. So anyway, uh, I want to show you, this is, this red wire uh, is one of the wires from this guy right here, this D. And this goes into, this is the, this is the D wire, so this is for the D switch. Uh, if you can see that D on there, hopefully you can see that. So that wire, let's see, I think that's this one. Yeah. So it goes into this breaker. So the colored wires, the blue and the red wires on this breaker box, or that this transfer switch, go into the breaker itself. The wire that was in the breaker uh, that can, that went out to your to the house that plugs into the blue wire, the blue D wire. If that makes sense. So, if I go back to, let's see here. So with this diagram, the red wires from the generator transfer switch hook into the breaker. The blue wires for that same circuit, you wire nut them to the wire that was for your house that went into the breaker. Hope that makes sense. So the wire that was going into the breaker that goes to your house appliance, you take that out of the breaker, you wire nut it to the blue wire of whatever circuit you're on. So we're talking about the D circuit um, in, in our box here for this box, the D circuit. So the blue wire, for, so the blue wire that has a D on it, you wire nut that to the wire that goes to your house. The red wire with a D on it, you wire it into your breaker. And then the white wire goes to the, there's only one white wire for all these circuits here in this tr transfer switch box. It goes to the neutral bar and the green wire from the ground goes to the ground bar. Um, the rest, so the rest of the, the switches here have two wires each. So there's a total of Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wires for each of these circuits coming through this conduit, plus a ground wire and a neutral wire. So you have a total of 14 wires uh, coming through this conduit, which is this is why it's uh, I think it's a one-inch conduit. So it's uh, it's quite a bit to deal with. <clears throat> so I've got a total of 28 wires. No, uh, 14. Yeah, 28 wires in here I'm dealing with from each of these from both these bigger boxes or transfer switches combined. The breaker feeds power in the red wire which goes into the transfer switch box through the switch and then um, when you have it in, in uh, the right position and then it goes back through the conduit and feeds the house. So if you have it in uh, the util position here or over here it's line. If you have it in that position flipped down, which this one is right here, that means power is coming from the breaker, going through the box, through the switch, and then back through the house. Uh, if you have this switch flipped up in the generator position, right there, then that means power is no longer coming from this breaker, which is coming from the grid. Power is coming from your generator source. <clears throat> In this case, it's our inverter. Uh, so, in that, in that case, if it's in the generator position, it is fed power from the inverter, which gets power from the batteries, which gets power from solar, uh, ultimately. And that feeds into the switch, and then that's that power is then directed to the house through that same blue wire. And also I wanted to mention that um, <clears throat> when you have this switch in the generator position, so you're feeding, your, your, what you're doing is you're bypassing this breaker and you're feeding power from your generator or in this case from our inverter, that means this breaker no longer protects your circuit.
because you're bypassing it. The circuit breaker on these boxes becomes your, your protection for your circuit. Uh, so that in this case, it's a 15 amp breaker. Right here, it's a 20 amp breaker. Um, all these over here are 15 amp breakers. These are push button ones, but um, um, they do work. I have had them uh, come on uh, once or twice. But <clears throat> just just so you just so you aware of that, uh, that's what these breakers on here are for. Um, so you know if you have different amperage of breakers here, make sure your wires are made to handle it that, that uh, go to your house. You know, so if you're a 20 amp circuit, make sure you have a 12 gauge wire. For a 15 amp circuit, 14 gauge wire, the the standard is is fine. <clears throat> so, uh, want to make sure I add that in here, um, and we'll continue with the video. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and on the neutral wire, <clears throat> I'll show you here uh, just to just make sure you can see it. There's only one white wire, one neutral wire for this whole box. Um, actually for this box it's over here, but I'm just using this for example. And there's only one green wire, ground wire for the whole box here. So the ground wire goes into the ground bar and the neutral wire <clears throat> goes into the neutral bar. <coughs> Excuse me. For this house, this house was built in 1984. Um, and there is no separate neutral wire on here from what I can tell, uh, at least when I got here. So neutral wires and ground wires are all wired in the same bars, uh, unfortunately. So I just did the same thing, uh, but technically you're not supposed to do that. And also, since I'm on technical terms, <laughs> I should have the power shut off to this before I even did this, but anyway. Uh, well, we can visit, revisit that another day. Anyway, um, hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any question, more questions on that, let me know. But uh, that's that's how the wire on these is set up. But really, <clears throat> how the power flows is is not necessarily what you need to understand. Uh, what you need to understand is uh, basically it, these instruction booklets uh, just make it. They make they have the wires are colored, their wires are numbered or lettered, and they make it pretty easy for you to set up. Just follow the instructions and look at the diagrams, and you should be good to go. So, hope that helps. <clears throat> and um, as I said, uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.